What's up, guys? Randy from the Whiskey Cuyones. I was finally able to get my hands on a, a couple of bottles of this JT Millick rice whiskey um, coming out of Cadiana, uh, Louisiana. But um, Ryan's did a really good review, really concise review on it. Uh, Y'all can look it up uh, on our channel. But uh, I kind of miss the days when we all could just sit around, light a fire, um, sip on a couple of whiskeys to kind of bounce notes off each other and see what each of us thinks about a, a bottle of whiskey. But man, with the you know distance and travel time and whatever, we got to do it through video. So I was gonna give my impressions of what I thought about some JT Millick whiskey. So stay tuned. It's coming up. What's up guys, Randy from the Whiskey Cuyones. Real quick impromptu video on this, uh, my impression is this JT Millick whiskey out of Louisiana, this rice whiskey. So, first taste of this I had was, um, like I said, we did a live on uh, TikTok. Um, I thought it was phenomenal, really. Um, first taste, this is probably about the fourth, maybe fifth taste I've had of this one. Um, Really good stuff, though. Honestly, uh, the color of it, I mean, really, it's got a dark color to it. Um, really, you think it would be darker aged for four years in Louisiana? I've seen some really dark stuff aged for one year in Louisiana, but uh, whatever they're doing with it, it's, it's some good stuff. Um, right off the top, let's go off the nose. Butterscotch and toffee and galore. Um, like Ron mentioned in his video, very, very bourbon-esque, uh, very bourbon-like nose, because it is aged in new charred oak. So it's virgin oak cask, so you're gonna get a lot of those um, burnt sugar notes that you would get from a, uh, a new charred oak. Butterscotch, uh, toffee, He said floral. I get I get more of an herbal note to it, but I could see floral too. Um, and then it goes into like this this. If you've ever had sake, um, which I hate sake, but you do get a rice note to it, but it's like a rice pudding, like a vanilla pudding. But you do get a rice flavor to it. Um, well, let's get into the taste, guys. Cheers. Man. Flavor's great. Um, so sweet. You get the wood sugars right off the bat. Toffee. Um... Definitely butterscotch. Butterscotch right off the top. Uh, flavors are great. A lot of oak. And I think Ryan mentioned that in his video. You get a lot of oak from this. Oak. Uh, toffee and butterscotch you would get from the uh, the wood sugars. From uh, virgin oak cast wood sugars. Um, it goes into like this vanilla rice pudding note at the end. Which is, uh, it's good. And the finish, I find the finish is not bad for um, a four-year whiskey. I mean, for $42 to $45, it's it's really good, honestly. Um, let's get another sip. Definitely butterscotch. Butterscotch and toffee all day. Loads of butterscotch. Almost like, almost like having a, a Werther's original. When you get that butterscotch flavor, the old man candy. <laughs> that is some good stuff. Uh, it, I could see where uh, Ryan said cheesecake in his review. Um, and I get that. I mean, you could. I wouldn't say cheesecake. It doesn't have a cheesecake flavor, but. With the viscosity of the whiskey and the mouthfeel of it, the mouthfeel is great. It almost it's very vis viscous for a uh, a ninety six proof whiskey. 
Um, it goes into like this uh, creamy kind of flavor. I get butterscotch, like a creamy butterscotch. And I would I would say um, pecan praline. You know, uh, if any coon ass knows what a Momo's making them fucking pecan pralines on that stove. And it tastes like pecan praline. But I could see somebody saying cheesecake because it's got kind of the same creamy kind of feel to it, if you know what I'm saying. Very good, very good whiskey. Um, he said it lacked a little complexity, which I, I could see it lacks a little complex. I, I find it, I find it complex, but it does lack like, you know, complexity of like a very old finished scotch. But uh, it's it's good for what it is. Um, for a ninety six proof uh, rice whiskey, for you know forty five forty two to forty five dollars, I like it. I really do. I really do like it. Um, they are making a cash strength version of this. Uh, they're doing like a single barrel program to where uh, you can get a barrel pick, um, depending on you know what the time and frame it is on this. And I'm not sure, but uh, stores can get a barrel pick, a uh, single barrel pick of this, and they're coming up with cash strength versions of it that you can get a barrel pick of. Which honestly, it, if it's this good at 96 proof. I can't about imagine what a cash strength version of that would taste like, but highly anticipated from the whiskey coolio. It's guaranteed. Um, great whiskey. I'm gonna give it a um, whiskey uh, review on it. I'm not sure what I, I forget what Ryan had had, had uh, rated it as, but I'm giving it a six point seven five. It can even push to a seven, uh, depending on what day you have it. Uh, Initially, when I had this, I did get a white grape note from it, which was weird. Uh, today, I don't get any kind of fruits from it at all. Um, like I said, very viscous whiskey, um, more of like a, a dessert sweetness whiskey. Uh, Ryan had mentioned uh, doing like maybe a mixed drink with it or having it with a cigar. My personal opinion, I, I don't think it would stand up to a cigar. It's kind of, uh, it's too light for that. I think the corn aspect of a bourbon holds up to a cigar good. But this rice whiskey, I don't know if it would. And as far as a mixed drink, I probably wouldn't throw a whole lot at this. Um, it's very scotch-like to where it's kind of, I'll find it more delicate. Um, but I could be wrong. I've never had it with a cigar and I've never had it as a mixed drink. I've only sipped on it neat. And neat is phenomenal. But um, great whiskey nonetheless. 6.75 from me. Um, check us out in the next video, guys.